your pack a book of mine about the most amazing sounds in the world. And I'm always struck by how some of the places people say, oh, it's got the most marvellous acoustics, are actually, from a design point of view, rather poor. And uh, I, I'm going to start with a place which I just read what I took off Wikipedia this morning, but you can get it in travel guides as well. The building has an international reputation as one of the most acoustically perfect buildings in the world. That's a pretty high sort of kind of bar to set, isn't it? If I'm, say, stood at one focus, and let's say the cameraman's at another, everything that goes up to the ceiling goes to the other focal point. So you get very great amplification across the room. And uh, if you want to demonstrate this, you can put this picture up, but you can also demonstrate it using a snooker table. And recently, someone has built an elliptical snooker table in Britain. His name's Alex Bellos. He writes uh, popular science books. And uh, if you sit at one focus of the snooker table and hit the cue ball, then it, the ball always goes into the pocket, which is in the middle. But I was near enough that I could hear, yes, the sound travels quite well, and, um, and, it, and it has this focusing effect. But that's kind of surprising, because actually, if you think about, if you and an acoustic consultant and architect came up and said, I'm going to put an elliptical ceiling on, alarm bells would start ringing, wouldn't they? You'd start to panic, think, oh no, this is going to be a disaster. Because we all know that you get this perfect transmission between two points, but that means the rest of the room is suffering. It hasn't got the sound that is being funneled to this marvellous, fortunate listener stuck at this one position. So actually, is this acoustically perfect? It's remarkable, but I say it's got a defect. I saw a paper on this, and someone said, oh, he was a, what a marvellous acoustic idea. And I was thinking, is this? I mean, I work in concert hall acoustics, and if you have ribs in the concert hall and the ceiling going that way, it's bad news. So I was thinking, this must be bad news. So I did some prediction modelling on it. So on the left-hand side, on the top, you can see a source. You can see all the pink or magenta receivers. And the black line is literally where I trace the shape of the ceiling into my model. So this is a booking hall, which has the most amazing acoustic in it. I'm going to play you a bit I recorded in there. I'm going to start by talking on the edge, and I'm going to walk into the middle where that pl plaque is and walk out again. And you can hear the acoustics as I walk. And it's basically a cylinder. It's not quite, but it's basically a cylinder. I'm in the booking hall of an Oslo train station and uh, you can just hear me chatting here but as I approach the middle of this space I think you can hear how my voice is suddenly amplified and then distorted by the shape.